Hi, I'm Rajesh from Technora.in and welcome to another episode of the Technora Coffee Minute. In this episode, we're going to talk about the key differences between a steam espresso maker and a uh, pump driven espresso machine so that you are well informed before making a decision to buy an espresso machine for your home. So what's an espresso? An espresso is defined as a brew of coffee or a coffee brew that uh, you make by passing hot water under pressure through coffee grounds to give you a very strong, um, let's say, a brew of bean juice, if you like. Now, uh, using that definition, a steam espresso machine considers itself an espresso machine because yes, there is some amount of pressure that is generated by the boiler and that forces the hot water through the coffee grounds to give you a uh, decoction or a brew of, of, uh, of coffee. What is missing is what is the, what is the amount of pressure that, that, is, uh, that is generated. The amount of pressure generated in a steam espresso machine is only three bars. So that's, that's uh, hardly anything. It's more like having a drip coffee machine with a little, with little bit of steam pressure. Any kind of machine that you see that has something of this kind of a construction with a simple generic boiler is going to be a steam espresso machine. Obviously, it's going to be mentioned it's, it's a steam espresso machine, but this is how generally it's going to look. The second thing that you should uh, that, 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 that you need to know is about the boiler. Now, this is a very, very generic boiler and uh, uh, it's, it's difficult to move between the brew and the steam mold. So this one boiler has got the job to also brew your coffee and also to create steam. So it's not it's not a very efficient boiler, but a very generic boiler. Now the uh, the the result of these two uh, facets of a steam espresso machine is that you get a, a coffee that is overbrewed. Uh, does not have any head of crema at all and practically scales the coffee at times because there is no really proper temperature regulation and you get an acidic overbrewed coffee. In a pump driven espresso machine, you have a 15 bar solenoid electric pump uh, and also a more sophisticated thermoblock or boiler. Now, the electrical pump does the function of actually forcing the hot water through the boiler under 15 bars of pressure. So the operating pressure here is a solid 15 bars, which means that at the brew head, at the time of, at, at, at the point of brewing, it's going to be somewhere around nine to 10 bars of, of pressure. The, uh, the boiler or the thermoblock also is a much more sophisticated boiler, uh, which has two uh, sophisticated thermostats that can, that can switch between the brew temperature and the steam temperature more easily and more accurately than it would be in, in, a, in a steam uh, espresso machine. So you're, so, you're, so you're going to get more accurate temperatures for brewing your, your, your coffee. Now the result of, of, of having a, a 15 bar electrical solenoid pump and a, uh, a thermoblock that has got which, uh, more sophisticated technology inside it is that you're, you are going to get a an espresso which is really rich with a full crema with a full crema on, on the head and that is what is going to resemble the kind of espresso that you are used to when you have your espressos in your coffee shops so a steam espresso machine is cheaper definitely cheaper than a uh, pump driven espresso machine but then the the result that you get in a steam espresso machine and a uh, pump espresso machine actually cannot be compared. When you buy a steam espresso machine, you're basically buying uh, something that is between a drip coffee maker and and, uh, and 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 adding some pressure to that to give you a little stronger brew. But it has uh, absolutely nothing uh, compared to that of a steam espresso machine. I hope I've been able to give you enough information to um, to, to to make the right decision when you're when you're ready to buy an espresso machine for your home. Please do watch our channel Tektora TV for more tips and more, more videos on, on coffee making and on coffee technology in general. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, to ask us. And I, I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.